This is the story of a little boy from a village in southern India who ran through the many storms of adversity with diligence and fortitude to realize his dreams and become one of the better known computer scientists in the world today. 1947, the year when India got its independence in the state of Mysore, close to the banks of the state's lifeline river Kaveri, in the northwest of Mysore district, in a small town called Hemige, was born the fourth child of S. N. Sundararaj Ayengar and S. Mahalakshmi. Like most other villages in India at the time, Hemige had no electricity, piped water, or automobiles. The boy was named Sita Rama in the Varadaraja Swami temple. The name Sita Rama is the name of the hero in the ancient Indian epic Ramayana, written by sage Valmiki. It is a common custom among tradition-bound families here to visit the temple and name their newborns after their local deities' names. Sita Rama was two years old when his father moved with his family to the big city of Bangalore. This capital city has grown astonishingly and is currently known as the Silicon Valley of India. Home for some of the global leaders in information technology as well as biotechnology. Sita Rama's early childhood was spent in homeschooling as the family was unable to afford nursery schooling. His primary education started at Nagapa Block Government Primary School, Bangalore, in 1953. He always used to be ahead of other students in his class and sometimes even his teacher. He was never satisfied with his performance in the examinations, even though he stood first in the class. He always thought that he could do more. So, to quench his thirst for knowledge, he visited public libraries and seminars even when he was in middle school. Sita Rama joined the Seshadripuram High School, which was known for its discipline and excellence in teaching. Sita Rama was 15 when he completed his high school studies. In the 60s, passing the Secondary School Certificate Examination, known as SSLC, was regarded as a turning point in one's life. Sita Rama had excelled in studies, giving a clear indication of things to come. He had passed with the high first class, with the highest marks in physics, chemistry, and mathematics for the school. Sita Rama joined the famous National College at Basavangudi in Bangalore to join some of the great thinkers and educators, like Professor K. Sampat Giri Rao and Professor Gopalaswamy Ayangar, who were influential in establishing it as a center for excellence in educating the youth. Sita Rama was inspired by the personality of the principal, Dr. H. Narasimhaiya, who had a doctorate degree in nuclear physics from The Ohio State University, USA. The mind of H. Narasimhaiya was brimming with new ideas, and he freely mingled with the students and motivated them to achieve excellence in different fields. At the National College, Sita Rama had the opportunity of listening to a lecture delivered by Professor C. V. Raman, the Nobel Laureate from Bangalore City. Raman's vision about the development of scientific research in India impressed him deeply. The Vishweshwaraya College of Engineering was the dream child of Sir M. Vishweshwaraya, a legendary engineer, statesman, and a scholar who was another role model for Sita Rama and he joined this very college in the year 1963 for a bachelor's degree. The experience he gained over the next five years was very rewarding. Slowly his future was getting shaped. Sita Rama joined IISC, the Indian Institute of Science, in July of 1968 for a master's degree in engineering. The director of IISC at that time was Professor Satish Dhawan, a visionary scientist who was one of the founding fathers of Indian space research. 
The IISC continues to be a premier postgraduate institution of research and higher learning located in Bangalore. On the one hand, the urge to go abroad and earn a doctorate degree was gaining momentum. On the other hand, the financial compulsions at home urged him to look for a job and to settle down. While he was caught in the horns of this dilemma, an invitation offering a job came from Dr. Valuri, the director of National Aeronautical Lab, Bangalore. However, Sita Rama's brother Govinda Rajan persuaded him to go to the U.S. for higher studies and gave strong support and guidance to fulfill his dreams. A highly ambitious Iyengar reached Mississippi in 1970 to pursue a PhD from Mississippi State University at State College, which had an enrollment of around 16,000 students. Joseph M. Brown, professor of mechanical engineering, was his guide. On the 12th of May, 1974, the Mississippi State University conferred upon S. Sita Rama Iyengar the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. By then, he had worked on mathematical model for biological systems, computational systems and simulation languages, and a series of research papers written by him had been published. One of the most momentous stages in Dr. Iyengar's life was his marriage with Manorama, daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Koratikere Dordamane Alasingachar. It was a traditional Hindu marriage, which was solemnized on Friday, August 30th, 1974. Iyengar joined Jackson State University as an assistant professor of computer science. Iyengar found that Jackson State University was not that productive and was on the lookout for other options. Dr. Iyengar was a visiting professor at the University of Bonn, Germany, during May 1977, and also visited Max Planck Research Institute at Frankfurt. He was also invited by the Bell Research Laboratories in New Jersey, where he was called upon to deliver a series of advanced lectures. It was at this time that he was invited to join the Computer Science Department of Louisiana State University by its chairman, Dr. Walter Rudd. When Iyengar reached LSU during the fall of 1979, the Computer Science Department was in its infancy with 10 professional faculty and a large number of instructors. Professor Iyengar communicated with Professor Walter Rudd from Rice University to initiate a doctoral program in computer science. Iyengar worked hard to develop contacts which would facilitate in generating funds for various projects in the pipeline. Dr. Iyengar received his first grant from Dr. Barry Jacobs at NASA Greenbelt, Maryland to design a distributed access view-integrated data logic system called DAVID. He has since received funding continuously from various federal agencies to the tune of more than $10 million. He was promoted as associate professor with tenure during 1983. This was a joyous occasion in his quest for excellence and at the same time, the responsibility to promote the department in its ranking fell squarely on his shoulders. With a missionary zeal and hard work, he built this department to be grouped among the top 30 in the university rankings in his 25 years stay there. During this time, he attained the stature of Professor John Hopcraft, Professor Hardamanis of Cornell, and many other distinguished professors from Ivy League schools in the United States. There have been many students fortunate to have the guidance of Dr. Iyengar. All have praise in common for not just his scholarship, but also his compassion for others. 
A very important part of his teaching was the way he prepared class notes that were comprehensive as well as illustrative. He says, As an instructor, my goals are to prepare students to think in a logical way to address the real computational problems, to inculcate in them the spirit of creative thinking, to enable them to develop a good insight so as to follow a strong research pursuit and to provide them an infrastructure of learning techniques. After a successful stint with Louisiana State University, Dr. Ayengar moved on to continue as Ryder Professor in the School of Computing and Information Sciences at Florida International University. He was instrumental in many new projects taken up by the university, some of the notable ones being the setting up of the Integrated Computer Augmented Virtual Environment, iCAVE, in January 2016. The iCAVE is a large room with wall-to-wall -wall and floor LED flex screens and a surround sound system that creates an immersive virtual reality experience. The room, a 15 feet by 11 feet cube, tracks how a person moves within the space with a four camera shutter synchronized tracking system. This system eliminates the need for equipment such as gloves or headgear that is usually needed for movement tracking on other platforms. He was also the brains behind the Discovery Lab, the Innovation Center for Florida International University School of Computing and Information Sciences. Discovery Lab was created in spring 2012 to provide students with the hands-on experience needed to solve real-world challenges. Ultimately, the Discovery Lab's focus is to develop products for the marketplace while giving students the experience of innovation, creation, and transition to entrepreneurship. Dr. Iyengar was also a part of the committee that established the Tech Station, which is a $3 million, 8,000 square foot hub for technology innovation, training and community engagement built to attract the next generation of top computing students. During his enlightening career that spans more than four decades, Dr. Ayengar has been a part of various institutions and organizations and also held various capacities at these organizations. He has been a visiting professor and advisor at various universities during this illustrious tenure. Dr. Ayengar has published more than 510 scholarly articles, which includes books that he co-authored and authored or edited, articles in leading technical journals, conference proceedings, book chapters, and technical reports. Dr. Ayengar has nine patents to his name and some in line to be approved. All these patents describe his work and mode of repay to the society and humanity. He has also been involved in some inventions and discoveries that have helped in improving the standard of human life. Dr. Iyengar has been in the news consistently and his work has been noticed all over the world. He has also been a vivid reader of dailies and magazines and has also been writing columns for many renowned newspapers across the world. He has been trying to constantly motivate and inspire young minds and uses media as one of the powerful platforms in doing so. Being a versatile person with knowledge of many languages helps him to reach the common man and make him aware of technology and the way in which it can be used. He is also a beacon of light for students and professors in India alike in making them aware of the various opportunities and the ways to tap them and succeed.
Dr. Iyengar's works have been used in numerous applications by various renowned corporations and federal departments as well. Many of his ideas have been used in defense and other applications. There have been citations by industrial giants and universities that add another dimension to his illustrious career. Along with the many articles and research papers in renowned journals and conference proceedings, Dr. Iyengar has many influential textbooks to his name. These books are highly illustrative and provide a wholesome idea of the subject to the reader. His books offer a varied perspective of the ideas and fosters innovation and creativity. Dr. Iyengar was presented with the Distinguished Alumni Award by the Indian Institute of Science in 2003. He also received the Mahatma Gandhi Pravasi Samman Award by the Non-Resident Indians Welfare Association in London. Dr. Iyengar has been trying to do his part in the upliftment of the society and has set up a medical foundation that operates as a non-profit organization. He also collaborated with some of the brightest minds in the world to support and mentor bright young minds. The Iyengar couple have three sons, Puneet, Vineet and Vijay. 